Okay, I'm Warren Lanfear. I am uh, the Director of Transportation, and I'm from Lowest Idaho. And I'm Christian Rock. I'm an Assistant Principal at Sam Rayburn Intermediate, and I'm from Lewis and Idaho. How did we find out? <laughs> so I was. You tell the story. I was. Uh, we were at DLT. It was summer. It was this. What do they call the one in the summertime? The yeah, the meetings. What the, the, the big, the big meeting at the end of July, and uh, I was presenting, and I mentioned something about Idaho, and he caught me after that, and like, where are you from in Idaho? And I said, Lewiston. He's like, I went, I went to high school in Lewiston, and then like, where are you, where were you born? I have Orfino, and he said, yeah, I lived in Orfino too. I mean, the odds of that are just needle in a haystack. So that's mm-hmm. I mean. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, definitely unusual. Running with somebody that went to the same high school and, right. and lived in the same strange town of Orfino. Mm-hmm. It's uh, kind of a mid-sized town in the middle big of... Big by Idaho standards. Yeah, big by Idaho standards. 30,000 people <laughs> and a state with a population of like 1.2 million or right. something like that. Right. It's uh, It was the first capital of Idaho. We're, we're just big nerds, clearly. Yeah. Okay. It's, a pre- it's a pretty place. There's yeah. some really big rivers, a lot of, um, you know, just when you think of Idaho outdoors, that's... The rivers are clear, like you can see to the bottom right. of them, <laughs> not like the rivers down here. Growing up in in Lewiston or, or Orfino either one, you know a lot of the same people, the same families, they've yeah. all been there for generations. Um, it's just like here where you hear names like Waller or something like that, there's there's, you know, it's a family name in this area, and the same thing there. You have this, the Skeltons and the McCanns, and wow, yeah. And and just even here, you you said McCanns, they were the rich family. Lewiston was kind of the big town. Mm-hmm. You you could drive a couple of hours to get to Spokane, but even Spokane is, I mean, it's obviously nothing like Houston. Um, Lewiston's pretty. I I would say at least my experience was very blue collar. There's not really a lot of rich people. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, hardworking folks. They don't make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it, it started as a like a logging town way, way back in the day. So there's still kind of those roots with the paper mill. Um, I, I mean, it just, you, can, you kind of have the image in your mind of like an Idaho blue collar town and that you're pretty, you're probably spot on. Brian was a, a really easy decision for me. Um, I've enjoyed living here. The, the people are, are great. Uh, I've not had, really, I've not had a bad experience with anybody down here and you can't say that a lot about places so and i mean in a postcard competition lewiston is going to win every time mm-hmm. um but you know you can find joy i think anywhere you go and brian as i've said multiple times like is i mean you guys are, are just awesome in the diversity department just so many different kinds of people and i i for my own family that's i think that's just so important to be surrounded by people that think differently and um, you know, maybe have diverse experiences. Here, I, I see that we're, we're making opportunities yeah. for, for people from all walks of life. It's not just for one person or one another. There's a lot of uh, opportunities and uh, possibilities for mm-hmm. people from all walks of life.